Scott Coglin from Western Angler here again doing some salmon tips for this year's Salmon Slam. Just wanted to give you a quick look at the sort of rods we use for fishing for salmon. Uh, these rods aren't for everyone but they're perfect for what we do because we like to uh, go along the beach and spot fish and cast at them. So I've got two rods here. This one is an Assassin Spin Zero. 11 foot two piece, cast up to about 60 grams. I use 70 gram uh, met casting metals on it without a drama. I've got a GT ice cream on there at the moment for surface activity. 11 foot can punch this out a mile. Little Shimano Stella, beautiful little reel, 6,000. Got about 20 pound line on that, which is ample for salmon. So this is a nice light outfit because I want something I can cast all day uh, because I'll be moving along the beach and fishing. Similar here, a Shimano Lenamis rod rigged up with an Ocean's Legacy Slingshot 70 gram lure. That's a slightly shorter rod, 10 foot, great casting rod, ultra light. Um, I usually use a lighter reel than that on it, but I've got a friend using it today and he's got an old Saltiga of mine on there. Um, there are plenty of great rods out. These two don't, won't break the bank. There are a number of good casting rods out there. Ocean's Legacy do some great dream casts as well. Shimano got plenty of rods. These Assassin shore casting rods are great. So there's something for pretty much any budget. So I just thought I'd run you through my basic salmon fishing kit that I take when I'm doing something like this. And first is a, a backpack that I put all my gear in. This is a waterproof one, so if I get it dumped in the water, it doesn't matter too much. And then everything I've got goes in there. So the essential items I have, first of all, some pliers, unhooking fish, some braid scissors, and some spare leader, some Ocean's Legacy 30 pound leader. I like to change my lures a lot. So I've got zip clips from Halco, normal snaps would do as well. Um, that enables me to change lures on the run, which can be very important because you never know what mood the salmon are gonna be in. And also sometimes they're riding close, other times they're out of fair way. So I like to carry a range of lures that I can throw at the salmon. And starting with casting metals. Um, salmon often sit a fair way out at the back of the breakers. Sometimes you've got to go in and go waist deep to get to them. But things like these, Ocean's Legacy Slingshot, Richter um, Super Sprat, fantastic casting lures. Um, it can enable you to get way out to those distant schools and that can make all the difference between success and failure. Got another casting metal there from Richter as well. I've got a GT ice cream here, little surface lure. You can let it sink a bit as well, but skipping them along the surface, salmon really like them and surface action is always good. Another surface action option is a Halco rooster popper, particularly if the fish are in close and there's big numbers, you can have a lot of fun with chasing that. Probably my preferred option, if the fish are in close, as I said, the casting metal's great when they're not, but if the fish are close enough to put a cast into, for most people, I like stick baits because you can work them a variety of ways. You can skip them along the surface and let them sink and put your own action on them. So I will always carry a collection of different size stick baits. Starting here, I've got a small Halco Sly Dog, an Ocean's Legacy Peeling, a Richter stick bait. And here's a bigger one for, again, if the schools are a bit further out and I really want to get a big stick bait out to them, uh, Shimano Orca Flash Boost. And then I've also got a, a Shiver Stick as well, another great salmon lure. Single hooks definitely advantage when you're salmon fishing uh, makes it much easier for unhooking this sort of stuff so i just wanted to run you through a few tips for spotting salmon um, because there is a bit of an art form to it a lot of people um, drive past schools of salmon and that's not a drama if you just want to get them fish in a hole a gutter and uh, and soak a bait for salmon that will certainly work but i like to do this and drive on the beach and actually see fish and cast at them you can see here behind me now we've got a nice um, hole and you can tell because there's no white water there to the left of it there's white water to the right of it there's white water so that's a nice hole there and salmon will move in and out of that all day and all night so if you wanted to pick a spot to either cast a lure or soak a bait and wait for the salmon to come to you that's a classic spot to try um, it's a nice channel and gutter and hole that one so that will certainly hold fish uh, at this time of year. But what I like to do is drive along and look for fish and cast at them. So anytime you see a gutter like that, definitely worth checking out. 
Now the first thing you need are these polarized sunglasses. You have to have polarized sunglasses for spotting salmon. It makes it so much easier for picking them out. You're not always going to see those big schools that just jump out at you. Sometimes you're going to have to be looking really intently and you'll see fish in the waves cruising along and sometimes the waves come up and you'll just see a carpet of salmon in there. Also just looking for anything that catches your eye in close. It could be little dark patches, salmon will throw off little shadows onto the sand, might be a flash of silver, might even be the splash of a fish on the surface. You're looking for anything that, that catches your eye. And that's what we've been doing at uh, Foster today. We've just been driving up and down the beach, just regularly encountering schools of salmon and casting at them and catching fish. We've had a lot of fun. Uh, to me, this is just a fabulous way to spend the day. These south coast remote beaches are just beautiful. As I said, there's beaches along the west coast. Hamlin Bay is fantastic. I've caught plenty of salmon at White Hills as well. It is just a fantastic way to spend the day, just driving along these beaches, looking for schools of salmon, enjoying the environment and the pristine uh, beaches that we have. Fantastic fun, and the bonus of it is, yeah, you catch these amazing big sport fish that are just fantastic to catch, fight well, jump, fight clean as well. So, yeah, if you, if you haven't ever done anything like this, um, I highly recommend it. And as I said, put a bit of thought into into spotting the fish um, because there is a bit of an art to it. But once you, you get the hang of it, you'll get a lot more out of your uh, salmon fishing as well when you can sight them and cast at them.